back again. It is the incredible rhyme animal. <laughs> Saturday morning. We're here after the rain and before the next rain. Taking the escalator up for the first stop of the day and look at over there. Oh my god. We were here last week and we told you that the Red Coconut Club was becoming the Dead Coconut Club. And here it is. Starting to shape up. Look at all of this gloriousness. This will be open for Halloween Horror Nights. Little Universal Monsters themed bar at City Walk. Coming into Halloween Horror Nights, coming out of Halloween Horror Nights. Perhaps the Bride of Frankenstein singing live nightly. Perhaps accompanied by the Invisible Man, who knows? Coming up over the hill to studio side. We've got Horror Nights banners out in all of their glory. They only have four of them up though. And that's it exactly. There's only really four IPs this year. So the rest of the houses, Universal Ground Up Creation. So advertising IPs, Universal Monsters, Legends Collide, Halloween, kind of the title house this year, along with The Weeknd and Blumhouse. All right, so early admission today, Islands. That's where we're heading first. We'll go check out the boutique. Does this make you homesick for Manhattan? <laughs> All right, this line is not to get in the boutique. That is the Hagrid's line. We're going straight in. Let's see what we got. They have a denim jacket with the studio screamers, including Casper. He's a friendly ghost. Let's check out the jacket. Zoom out a little bit. That's the back. That's the front. Scares at every turn. They've got the print, the shirt, the hoodie, and the uh, old school like jelly type glass, which by the way is $12. That's highway robbery. Halloween stickers, and then look at this spirit sweater. That is um, hmm, something. Shot glasses, more juice glasses. Little Boo featured prominently on shirts, and hey, oh my god, it's Little Boo himself. Jesus Christ, they even have a Little Boo candle. What does Little Boo smell like? It's like a caramel pumpkin mm, yeah. smell. Yeah, mm. Studio Screamer shirt. And we've got the Kiki Tiki mugs, which these are online generally for about 20 bucks. Here, $60. Oh so these, by the way, are not park exclusives. So keep that in mind if you're concerned about prices. And here's some other guys, Frankenstein, Frankenstein's Bride, even though it's not really, I guess, Frankenstein's Bride, right? These it's are not really Frankenstein, I guess. Awesome. Oh, look at these pins. I like Casper that one. featured prominently again. Yeah, I like that. Because he's a friendly ghost. I wish they sold that just by itself. The pumpkin guy. Those pins. How much? 
$50. Only 50? Only 50. 50. 50. We should get like a couple of them. Hero Cat still doing the Hero Cat thing. Look at that guy. This skeleton is mocking anyone that's come here today to buy a little blue sipper. Spooky. There's earrings that also feature Casper and the Pumpkin Lord. Lollipops and Casper treats. Aren't the Casper treats the most important thing here? Oh my. That's my face when the dead coconut opens. And that's the swizzle snick for the dead coconut club. They really don't want you going in that door. And with my anti-gravity cabin, even Spider-Man won't be able to stop me. You mean stop that ass? Yes, of course. Now time to go back to studio side, check out the updates for scare zones and decorations. We are just four days away from Horror Nights employee preview. We've made it into the studio side and there's full on decorations now. The horrors of Halloween. The Pumpkin Lord's home has arrived. We have our banner. I gave him a little privacy area behind there so he can get in and out. Look at this. I wonder if it's the same prop from inside the house last year. Thorny vines. And good gourd, there's some hiding spots here. You have elements of the other scare zones baked in here too. So you got like the witch's stuff, and cauldron. Some deadly unrest items here. 31 for Horror Nights and Halloween. Lots more jack-o'-lanterns added to the mix here. Scarecrow representation. And then looking straight up, it's Little Boo! So basically when you come into the scare zone every night, there's gonna be a traffic jam with everybody stopping and trying to stare and look up. And the last little representation here from the candy zone. Kinda, 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 kinda. Come back up through Hollywood to the deadly unrest. Is there any truth to the rumor that deadly unrest is named after Cabana Bay family rooms? Meadowwood Cemetery. Look alive, look alive. Creepy. It's kind of like moved out, so directionally, tough to walk up the block. Spooky webs. Spooky spookies. Literally the stairs to nowhere. Do not climb. And more stairs to nowhere. Get a view up the street here. Sad, but I know why you're sad, because somebody ripped your hand off. What the hell is wrong with people? Spooky. Oh, Chucky shirts with Horror Nights logos on them, but why? And just outside the horror makeup show, there it is. The Dead Coconut Club, the drink menu, the coaster, the swizzle stick, the mug, Scarecrow, Curse Soil up ahead. Oh, look at this! That's not looking so good. There's a theme bar back there. Look at that, like Day of the Dead. It looks very much similar to the decorations at Hollow Scream in Bush Gardens. Just outside the Scarecrow Scare Zone is the Lagoon Show this year, which is called Goulash. A Halloween tale. I know it's ghoulish. I know it's ghoulish. It's goulash. I love goulash. I'm German, Hungarian, Italian. Goulash. And there's food and drinks at these locations now. You got those skull cups. They pretty much had those last year, I think. And like Oriental Trading Company. Chicharrones. Chicharrones. Only four bucks. It's probably like one. $25 for Dia de la Mortis popcorn. So now we have some framework around the upper and lower scares. More framework. Oh, look at this. Scarecrow. Oh dear. There's extra dynamite. Kapow. Oh, it's an outhouse. Hello. Hello. Food booths back here. Foods and drinks. Garlic Philly cheese steak. S-T-A-K-E. Ha ha. And a mummy's curse. T 
tablet cookie. It's the Tinsel Tower of Terror. Bourbon, brandy, vermouth. Mm. Oh my God, it's All Star. At this booth, they have the Voodoo Brewing Lacto Cooler. We've tried this beer a couple of times at Total Wine. Or I should say we bought it at Total Wine for probably less than 50% of the price that they're charging here. 12 bucks for a can. This beer is awful. Genuinely awful. If you try this and you like this, I want to know down below in the comments. We got some Twisted Taters here, including Ghost Pepper. Heading to the back to the Chucky booth. Doc Brown wandering around Chucky. Not an idea. No clue. Perhaps looking for Chucky. Doc, are you looking for any... Mike's got this <laughs> What's wrong, buddy? Are you looking for any toys that may have escaped out of this thing? Some toys escaped? Possibly. I heard of it. I just got here. Okay, be on the lookout. For toys? Dangerous toys. Are they animate? Yes. On their own? Uh, that's what I'm hearing. Hey, check, out, check the bushes. We've got drinks here in the Chucky booth and the Good Guys Burger. The Wanna Play beignet with pimento cheese. Chili Lee Ray. That is amazing. Nightmare Fuel Theater behind us, up ahead. The Chucky photo booth has returned. This is returning from last year where you go in the booth, you have somebody out here trying to take a picture and it blows air in your face so you're shocked. The question is, will Chucky make an appearance this year? No menu at the pumpkin booth, but they did add that glass piece that we talked about in the last video. This middle piece causing controversy, forcing the hand to add an extra menu booth here. Heading into the witch scare zone. This scare zone always the most congested in San Francisco. A little boo holes here. More set decorations. Oh, what's on front of the stage? It's probably something really scary. Look at those runes. Purple. The scariest of all rune colors. That's a case for Morgan and Morgan. Look at that. Oh, I know what this rune is. That's the booby rune. And you know how I know it's the booby rune? It's located right above the butt rune. Oh my god. Ooh, more skeletons. Skeleti. It's the runes of the Rob Zombie scare zone, the greatest scare zone that ever existed in this spot. That's where you deliver the mail. <laughs> Heading into the New York area, the Candy 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 scare zone. Scary jack o' lanterns. Ooh, something scary is under there. And Sting Alley meets Locker. Meaty meets. Oh, Look at that. Uh, fried zombie brains with fried cauliflower. It's right in there for Captain Tom. Spicy chicken offals. The angry bear meat and another gummy heart. The packaging makes it. I mean, I would love to just like keep one in the package. And they've been doing sampling of this stuff for employees and people that are standing around it just before park closes. But that's awesome. What is not awesome and totally unacceptable to me, standalone sodas, $4.69 a bottle, which is absolutely ridiculous, but worse, $5.50 for a bottle of water. Are you freaking kidding me? Almost a dollar more than a soda to begin with, but almost $6 for water. That's embarrassing, Universal. And I'm gonna put this QR code up here all wiggly because my hand is not steady but if you scan that qr code you can download all of the menus that are available for horror nights do it walking further back to meaty meats there's other decorations that hang here like a half a body and stuff but i guess they're not putting it out during the day this is check it out <laughs> oh look at this the hooves are on it still i like my meat extra hoovy and there's like a little boo hole here, so maybe Meaty Meat's coming out and doing his thing in here. And there's the drink booth, and that is the exit. You can tell it's the exit because it says do not enter. Some of the street refurbishment is done here. More set decoration. Under that tarp, the corn kid. Corn! Corn! The tribute store. Lettering now here. 
Advertisements for the Dead Coconut Club. May or not is funding by local candy maker. Here's your story. Major Sweets Candy Company truck here. They've blocked out the windows, formerly used for such fun things as the purge and taking captives in there or zombies that were from the Walking Dead scare zone. Judge's booth. And they've covered up all the candy, candy, candy over here. More food boots. Bog Slime to the sequel. Little Boo has its own food. The cake pop. That's great. Pepperoni pizza skulls. Pumpkin ginger snap punch. Spicy turkey and squash bun. Twisted taters. More twisted taters. Major sweets ice cream sandwich. Haunted horseshoe. Wow, that looks great. That's the first thing that's actually impressed me anywhere. Oh, that's souvenir that's Sam Haynes. Shocker. Oh. The electric death and ghoul juice. So one of the best things that we had last year was this No Chance in Hell PB and J. This is like a fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich with like some honey or syrup drizzled on it. Last year it was $7. This year they announced it was gonna be 15. People have lost their shit. The word is they're gonna drop this price to $10. So it'll be $9.99. So it's still going up a good $3 over what it was last year, but it was good. It's not $10 good though. Heading back to the front of the park and by the Music Plaza. Last night, this area was used for the Maroon 5 concert, special concert they had here. High, high, high price ticket prices. And now, all the cutbacks are here for the houses to enter that way. Four more days. Oh, Look at that guy. Which is spilled cauldron stew? Green chili and chicken stew with skeleton cornbread. I feel like you have to get that at least one time just for the cornbread. Plus, it's $7.50. Literally $2.50 less than what a pe peanut butter and jelly sandwich is going to cost you. At the studio store in the front. Chucky! Coasters. Ah, that's the coolest shirt so far. The Jurassic Park popcorn bucket is over here in this store. Who would have thought? Sticker sheet. Let's take a peek in Louie's. This is where Scare Actor Dining is going to be this year. Let's see if there's any decorations in here yet. Well, this is it. The lone decoration, but it's a good one. A chunk is missing out of his forehead already. We'll be back here for Scare Actor Dining first weekend. Hopefully Dinner Mike makes an appearance. The one thing I will say about Louis versus Monsters Cafe for his character dining is that these tables are incredibly small and they're all grouped together. So if they have characters meandering around, they're gonna be like right on top of each other. And there's not a lot of space to eat. All right, Universal, we're getting out of here. We're just four days away from team member previews. We're not team members, so we won't be here. We will be here opening night, Saturday night, Sunday night, uh, and then probably not for the next week but that's the way things go at Horror Nights. We'll be here often. The rain will be here often. It's supposed to absolutely pour out this coming weekend. So if you're coming, be prepared. But for now, we're getting out of here. So thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. See you guys. Also, it's so long. Otherwise, they'll be looking in your dreams for you.